There we go. Now we got the big old cow tied up. <laughs> you know, we, we tell kids that they're supposed to love these dogs. That's our baby, isn't it? We have to cater to them. We got to give them treats. We got... George, no. Nah, George is. Fargo's in his face. Pull Fargo out of there. He's too close. There. All right. So we try to convince kids that they're supposed to like a dog that's taking their stuff, mouthing them, knocking them down, jumping on them, peeing on them. Why would she like that? Because you're teaching kids to be victims of a dog. No. Now, we only like those people and dogs that treat us nice, right? Say yes, Annabelle. Grandma gets that wrong. <coughs> the rules have to be the same or it's not fair. Good girl. Now, if Grandma forgets that, you remind her, okay? Just say to her, Grandma, you wouldn't let me do that. Oh. If you treated people bad and you hit them, Grandma would be upset, wouldn't she? If he bites something, puts his mouth on you, Grandma, you wouldn't let me hit people. If you took something that didn't belong to you, that would be stealing, wouldn't it? He steals stuff. Grandma, you wouldn't let me steal. Grandma's going to get so tired of hearing that that Grandma's going to not forget. No, Grandma's going to make sure you get straight. <laughs> that's right. But that's how you use dogs to teach kids. You have the same rules. So how does a child learn not to steal? By having something stolen from them. Not by replacing it. They have to take responsibility, right? All right. That's right. We're going to get her trained yet. Because the dog is born pre-programmed to want to please a pack leader. So if that dog's running all over you, you're not being a pack leader. You're being their friend. They don't need a friend. Now, you're doing the right thing by smiling. This is why dogs are on this earth, to help us learn about relationships, raising kids, and being a leader. Don't look at him. You know how Dale is. Easy. Easy, George. There you go. George, easy. Okay, now, you're going to tell him, wait. Stop. No, wait. No. Look at, see what you taught her to do? Wait. Now, you're going to step over there and talk to Mary Pat. Tell him to wait. Wait. That's it. Wait. No, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not trying to think, are you? <laughs> okay, touch him on the head. Tell him, good wait. Good wait. All right, now tell him with me. With me. See what you do? It's not me. I know. Remember those days? Uh -huh. Run. Now tell him, wait. Wait. Beautiful. Touch him on the head. Good. Wait. Come on, you big goof. Good. Outside that, yeah, get away from him. He's got some drool. Good dog. You can tell him to wait anywhere you want. Do you like him? Is he being good? You better tell him. Good boy, George. Now, look at you just did. 
Tell her she's good. Is he being George or is he being a big goof? Pull on that. Walk over by, uh, walk by Bill. Walk over to Bill. Now Bill, grab that line and tell him, you easy, you big goof. There. Tell him he's better. Now, you got to be careful about praising him happy. You can, you step away from him, you behave. Okay? All right? Let her struggle a little bit. Good. Now, you're going to walk to each person and you're going to tell him to wait and then you're going to talk to that person for a second. Tell him wait. wait. Talk to Mary Pat. No, you got to wait. Wait longer than that. Go over and talk to Mary Pat. There you go. You wait. Now each time she walks to talk to somebody, she's walking, pull on it. I told you wait. I told you wait. Good girl. I told you wait. There. Good wait. Good wait. All right. Now tell him, come on. Right there. Oh, you forgot a person. You're forgetting people. Wait. Wait. There. She's doing good. This is the time to teach kids how to be in charge of dogs. Watch out for Dale here. He's got that orange shirt on. Tell them with me. Wait. 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 Now tell, look at Dale and say, this is how to do it, Dale. <laughs> no, Dale does good, doesn't he? All right. With me. Right there. Talk to Natalie. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I think Natalie should work your dog for a minute, don't you? Yeah. Ooh, dog. Okay. Like now it's good for George to work for other people. George, easy. There you go. So when okay. Annabelle is going to work, make it a short session. Put a person in the middle that knows kind of what they're doing. Go ahead and work him. Do some offs and no, he's doing with me. George with me. Good. Off. Good. Easy. Nice. Good boy. Off. See there? Good. You did a really good job. Wait. That was kind of cool, wasn't it? I'm going to show you a trick before we're done here. Good way, George. Nice. So you're going to now kind of trot or jog over there. Tell him to wait just before you get to the end of that line. Wait. Ah. Good boy. Wait. Ooh, did you see that? Excellent. Good boy, George. Good he slid right into that one, and that was nice. But that's why you need more handler in between. So short pieces of success with Annabelle. And then somebody else works her, works him, and then Annabelle again. Now it would be very good for Annabelle to come back to class again because we would be able to work George more and we make George understand he will never, ever, ever again disrespect this child. Never. I don't care how, you've, how big a fight you want to have with me, but you better not ever treat that girl bad. Now, he's a lot of dog for her, but she's going to learn to handle that. But you don't start on something big like that. All right, Natalie. Get Chloe up. Now, when Natalie came, she cried. Because she felt bad 
because she was making Chloe do things. Now you watch what Chloe can do. Now a small dog like that is very easy for a young girl to work with. A dog that size outweighs her three times. Okay, now move her around, tell her, show Annabelle some of the things, some of the words you say. Good girl. What? Good girl. I need you. Get up here. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Wow. Wait. What do you think of that? Play with me. Good girl. Get up here. All right. Now, how a child learns best. Okay, we have a child in here. You. Run up there and talk to Natalie. Natalie's going to show you what to do. Let them get acquainted first. Oh, Chloe likes kids. She eats two or three a day. Oh, yes. Now, do you know why she jumped on you, Annabelle? Because when Natalie gets upset, Chloe said, I'll make you feel better. Yes, she is. Okay, now hand her the lead. Now, Natalie's going to tell you what to do. So once, once a kid, now Natalie's a young adult. Yeah, see, Natalie. Okay, now, I'm fine. I'm fine. There. Now, she, yeah, there you go. She got to be on the other, there you go. Because now Natalie's again out of her comfort zone because she's now the teacher. Oh, she's looking at the dog, Natalie. Don't look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what you're going to do is find a spot up here. You're walking straight to there. Tell her, with me. Walk. Walk, girl. Come on. Good. Good. And then you can turn. That's it. Tell her she's good. Now you're going to back away just a little bit and direct her from a distance now. Go around the circle. Hey, you be easy. There you go. Okay, now if she goes the other direction, Natalie, the dog will be on the outside and it's easier for Annabelle. Okay, hold on to the lead. Other hand, honey. Okay, now turn around. That's it. Now go on the blue line. Tell her with me. Walk. Don't wait for her. Go. Go. Quit looking at her. That's it. Walk on the line. That's it. Very good. Tell her to wait. 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 I told you wait. Good job. All right. You see this X? Okay. Run to the X and tell her wait. Wait. You got to be quicker. Wait. Think about your grandma. She would say, wait. We're looking at the dog. Okay, right straight across there is another X. Tell her, come on, dog. Run. Good girl. Tell her, wait. Nice. Okay, show her the X over here, Natalie. Yep. Come on, dog. Wait. Wait. Make her wait. wait. I told, pull on that lead. Show her how to do it. Because grandma's convinced her you don't do anything rough with the dog. Poo. She's fine. Okay, now there's an X over here, honey. Right over by Bill. Bill only looks scary. Run. Come on, dog. Wait. Good. How's that? Now, when she understands what the goal is, now she understands a little bit better about what she needs to do. 
Now, does that make sense to you? All right, tell her, come on, and you're walking around that blue circle again. Come on. Dog. Terrible, horrible rat. Oh, we don't call her that yet. We call her that later. <laughs> right now, this poor little girl is trying to get over of giving the dog a correction. <laughs> Remember when I told you that Chloe was horrible the first time? Oh, it hurt her feelings. Run around that circle. Run. Run girl. Go. Come on, dog. Now, she's not used to being around a compliant dog. They don't even know it can happen. Very nice. Okay, give the hairy thing back to Natalie. Good girl. How did that feel? You did very, very well. Natalie, we got some work to do on her yet. <laughs> At least she doesn't cry. No, it's it's very different though being the teacher, isn't it? It is. It is. You watch everything. I know. You have to. Yeah. And you have to help people understand how to fix things, not just watch it happen. A lot of people watch it happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's knowing what to do with it. Well, the 22-year-old or the, the older kids don't have to necessarily want to be around the dog. But they can be an anchor. You are going to use me as the center post. So you're working him around me. Boy, George. So you can actually be a portable post. Good. Okay, go ahead. Good boy. Now you can't do the whole big circle necessarily, okay? So you got to get used to being able to switch. So the person doing being the post may adapt depending on where she walks. Wait, wait. Now you can walk to the end of that. Wait. All right, now you would be able to call him to you. Tell him with me. Quit doing that. With me, George. Good boy. Good with me. Tell him. There you go. Now I can stop him. Wait, George. Nice. Whoop. Good. Wait, George. Hey, wait. And you be easy. There you go. You see how that works? Bye, 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 Don't forget me, Dale. Bye, Dale. <laughs> but with two lines on that dog, and this is what I was saying about your husband. He doesn't have to want to work the dog, but if he'll cooperate, you would be able to teach him without him actually doing anything. Okay. Now you're going to walk down here and you're going to tell him to wait. So tell him with me. Boy, with me, George. And then I'm going to stop him wherever you say. Wait. Wait. Good. Good waiting, dog. See? Wait. So this is really a good you easy. All right. Now, Annabelle, we're just about done here. You go over there and Natalie will help you with that line. This is the transition from one handler to another. Yep, don't put your arm through it. That's it. Okay. Now, what's she going to say? With me. Okay, walk. You got to walk. Talk to him. Good. Good, George. Easy. Good girl. Careful. Now we're going to do everything we can do to keep her in charge. She can't really do anything too wrong. Tell him wait. Wait. Walk out there and talk to Rose. Talk to Rose. Good weight. Now you can pet him. Now I'd walk over here and talk to Marilyn and Mary Pat. Tell them with me. With me. 
Pull him. Get up here, you big cow. You didn't tell him to wait. Wait. <laughs> so, you